Hello everyone, Joe or Lima here, and welcome to episode 2 of uh, what is the XP an hour on series that I'm doing. Um, this time I have a mic, last time I didn't have a mic available and I just kind of wanted to get that episode out, so let me know what you think of it with the music or without the music, it doesn't really make a difference to me, I can do it with either. Anyway, so today I'm doing General Grodo, as you can see from the title and the screenshot you're seeing on screen now. Um, I mainly wanted just to purely see like the XP an hour with uh, melee. And I also wanted to see how much weapon and armor XP you get if you're using augments for Inventor with um, with the armor that I used. So the I didn't record any like estimate on GP an hour for this boss purely because it's really really hard to get an estimate because of like how many drops there are and the drop rate and stuff. Uh, if you want it, if you want to get like a rough estimate on like GP an hour with just the base drops, so all of the noted drops, all of the uh, org bones. You're looking at roughly around 1.4 mil GP an hour, which is okay, I guess, for the boss. I mean, it's not a difficult boss at all. But the gear that I'm using, you'll see on screen now. Uh, I'm using pretty cheap gear, you know, this is pretty average gear. Normally, I would use Malevolent or Torva, but I augmented my Tetsu, and I probably will augment my Torva anyway, just to kind of make it easier for bossing, but it doesn't make a difference. If you're using Torva, you'll probably get, like, a few more kills an hour. Like, it's such a insignificant difference that it barely matters but if you want to min max you know go for it but this the main aim of my series here is just to kind of show like average gear which most people will be able to use um, using the bandos helmet just for the extra damage uh, and my tetsu helmet might have broken you know forget, forget about that uh <laughs> Tova boots you can see all that on the screen there the only things i wanted to point out was that i'm using the vamp scrimshaw this is basically to make it so you the amount that you heal with this thing on definitely makes a big difference, so I would recommend using that if you can. I'm using the Nox Scythe, and I'm also using a Bone Crusher. If I wasn't using Bone Crusher, I would like properly record the GP an hour with all the bones, but I didn't really want to bring a Yak, and I don't know, I just wanted to get the Pro XP roughly with a Bone Crusher without having to worry about burying the bones after every kill. So, enough of that, enough gibbering on. I'm going to play the video of like a sped up hour, and there's actually something quite cool in the middle. This hour isn't like a totally accurate hour because you'll see halfway through roughly what happened, or you might be able to see because it's sped up, but I'll tell you afterwards why it's not a completely accurate hour, and I'll see you shortly. So welcome back after watching that clip and yeah the reason that that hour wasn't like a hundred percent accurate was because I kind of freaked out about getting the pet which I don't know if you could actually see in the video or not but I was not expecting to get that which was kind of cool that I got it making a video so I had like on-screen footage of it. Um, I think I got it at 1700 kills or slightly less than 1700 so that was really really cool totally wasn't expecting that 
pretty happy about it too. <laughs> uh, it's not often you get a pet while you're recording or anything. So yeah, that's why that hour wasn't totally accurate because I kind of freaked out a bit. But here is the results that I got. Now, bear in mind these are averages over five hours. So some hours I got slightly more than what you're seeing on screen and some hours I got slightly less than what you're seeing on screen. But this is like roughly what you can expect. I wasn't going like 100% mode. And in that hour, like you just saw on video, you can see that I'm not using Berserk every time I could, so that would have sped up the kills a little bit. I'm not like, I didn't have a Ring of Vigor on me either, which makes a huge difference. Um, yeah, so this is like roughly what you can expect per hour, you know. So I got, with the augments there, as you can see, I'm using the Scythe and the Tetsu Plate Body to represent weapon and uh, armor XP. I got 24.5k weapon XP and roughly around nearly 18k armor XP is what you can expect from General Grado. Now bear in mind that I'm also using the fast spawn um, in the instance mode. So if you're doing like just regular you're going to expect less than this. And um, yeah, the only other main tip that I really want to give is that when you use the scythe, and this is why I'd rather use a scythe over Dragors, or if, if you're using Crystal Halberd to like completely disassemble. Um, I recommend using Quake, Hurricane and Cleave on the two minions, so the Mage minion and the Melee minion, as early as possible. If you kill those like really fast before Grotto spawns again, they have a pretty high chance of respawning, so you get slightly more weapon XP per hour as well. Um, and that's the only real big tip I can give to make a huge difference, but as you can see on screen there, you get a decent amount of XP per hour from Grotto. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any more suggestions of what you want me to do, like I have a lot of time on my hands, so <laughs> anything you want me to do, anything you want me to test like that, I will definitely get around to making it. I'm working on waterfall fishing at the moment, but I kind of want to wait until they do skilling tools because in the um, in the Q&A live stream, they mentioned that instead of mining now, they're going to start doing um, fishing and woodcutting uh, for skilling augments. So. I want to test that when they eventually release that, which should be in two weeks. Um, they haven't given a specific day for it though, so that could be a while off. So I'm going to wait for that before I do waterfall fishing, but anything else I'm more than willing to do. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.